Hey guys, welcome back to the Subtropical Food Forest. My name's Josh and this is my beautiful jungle section. Um, beside me, I'm standing beside my uh, Relinia. Now, I did a video on this guy about um, one and a half months ago where I was talking about pollinating the fruit. And I wanted to bring this back today and show you the fruit set and we added an awesome fruit set. I want to take you around show you some of the fruit. Um, I'm super, super happy. Some of them are almost golf ball size now. I'm um, really, really excited. I think we have about uh, 15 or so fruit, 15, maybe 16 fruit. Some of them are bagged, uh, some of them I haven't. And in the last video, I didn't actually show you what I used to pollinate these flowers. So what I did was, when the flower was older and opened in the afternoon, I basically put this little container underneath. I just tap the flower. All the pollen falls inside the container. Then generally the next morning, um, I'll find one of the new flowers that's recently opened. I just get a little Q-tip, get some of the pollen out of the container. I grab one of the flowers, turn it upside down, just tap the pollen in over the top. And then sometimes also I like jam this down inside the flower and sort of spin it round. And that, um, yeah, it's a super simple method. Um, I looked up a few videos on YouTube on different ways of doing it. Some were more complicated, some were less. Um, that's my method and I'll show you the results. It's turned out really, really well. Now this guy is about uh, four years old, this tree, and it had a little bit of a mixed life. I actually planted it in the backyard first. It didn't like that position. So then about eight months later, I moved it um, to the front section, and it's been here ever since. Now I'll just spin you around so you can get a better view of this. Alrighty, so here's our linear tree. It's probably three and a half meters high and almost as wide. Um, like I said, we've got about 15 or 16 fruit set. You can see some of the bags I have in here. I took one of the bags off this guy to show you. Sorry, a leaf in the way. That's how our alinias are going at the moment. You can see they're actually gorgeous looking little fruit. The camera wants to zoom in properly. Um, yeah, it's probably not quite golf ball size, but it's getting there. And there's a couple larger ones on here. See in here. Now one of the super handy things about hand pollinating is it's a lot easier to pollinate fruit that are low down in the canopy. This makes them also much easier to check on. In the future, it'll also be a lot easier to pick these fruit, considering the vast majority of the fruit are basically within reach. You can see that's a younger one there. It doesn't really want to zoom in on the fruit. If you have a look up inside this tree, you'll see basically where the bags are. They're all fruit that have been pollinated. Um, the reason I'm bagging these is we have a bug called a sap sucking bug that likes to attack absolutely everything here. Um, I think I may leave a few um, not bagged to see you know, how badly they get damaged or not. I think there was a new little fruit in here I haven't actually bagged yet. You can see we have quite a few. But all in all, yeah, like I said, there's about 16. Um, and I actually stopped uh, hand pollinating pretty much as soon as I did that video just because I started um, renovating my house. You can see it's a different colour now. I've done some painting and whatnot. I also recently pruned this tree a little, mostly just to open up the canopy. You can see this section in here in the middle is more bare now. Um, I just wanted a little bit better airflow and also did let a bit more light through for the plants at the back there. In winter, this tree doesn't get a whole great deal of sunlight uh, because the house shades it quite a bit. I've also recently, I uh, did a quick fertilize. That was just with a rooster booster. It's like a palletized chook manure. Um, that's all I've put on this tree. And you can see I've also done a chop and drop recently, um, actually over the whole front tropical section, which I'll probably do a video on soon. Um, generally in winter I do a big chop and drop, um, just add a bunch more mulch in there. But yeah, I'm absolutely stoked with the fruit set on this guy. Last year we had two fruit. Um, this year, as I was saying, we have sort of at least 16. So I'd say these guys will probably take three, four months, five months. I can't remember exactly um, to ripen up, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. Anyways guys, that's just a quick update on the Rolinia, um, our pollination fruit set. 16 fruit, I'm really really happy with it. I know we've probably got a few more because the other day when I was out here, um, I seen a couple up the top that looked like they've been pollinated as well. Um, 
So if you want to use that method, that's that's just my method with a little container. Um, it's super super simple and it works. Um, you can see the results here. 16 fruit on a four year old tree that's been moved. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, I will bring you back in the future and show you as these fruit get larger and hopefully a tasting when they eventually ripen up. Anyways, thanks very much guys. Please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps my channel out. And I'll see you next time.